Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back today. I am going to be doing a plan with me in the um, mom life planner or like the dashboard layout, which I'm really excited to do. This is like actually my first um, plan with me, although I've been kind of using these inserts since the beginning of the year. Um, I wasn't really using them for like productivity. Um, I found this one on like one of those buy trade sell groups. Um, for really cheap so I'm like you know what I'm gonna try it out for productivity and I'm loving it so far actually they're working out really good and I'm really glad I got it um, so I'm gonna use these sticker kit that I got actually a couple years back from a happy blue tree and um, I decided to use like my leftover stickers because in the way that I'm using this spread or layout um, I don't really like a lot of stickers or deco. I know. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you guys cringing? <laughs> but it's just that I need, actually need it to function. <laughs> Imagine that. Why would we even plan if it was not for deco, right? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I have to use this one for what it's intended to, writing. Wah, wah, wah. So the first section I decided to use it for would be um, YouTube. And I decided to make it like a checklist since it already has lines right there. Um, it's like a to-do checklist for YouTube since I really want to kick that off this year. And um, I think this will be helpful. And then the second section or the middle section I'm going to be using for health, which on one part I'm going to be using for like my eating habits and like um, my diet. And then on the second part I'm going to be using for working out and like so basically on one side of the spread or layout, um, the right side of the page, or excuse me, the left side of the page, I'm gonna be using for like forward planning, like anything that I plan to do, what I want to get done, actually like a list of goals, if you will, um, for the week. And then the bottom section, I'm gonna be using for my faith and spiritual um, goals, like what I wanna read, what verses that I wanna study on this week, and that'll be my main focus. And then on the right side of the spread, so it would be like, you know, when you open your planner book up, um, the right side, which is the dated side of the um, dashboard layout, I'm gonna be using that side like tracker. So one side will be like forward planning and the second side will be like a um, tracker just to compare the two and see how well I did. And like, did I actually follow my plan or not? So anyways, that's my idea. Let's see how well it works. Um, I think it's, I'm really excited about it, and I think I have a lot of ex high expectations for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a couple boxes, and that's basic to, basically to highlight um, my goal, like no carbs or, you know, um, work out four to five times a week this week. And then um, I might like put down what kind of workouts that I want to do, even specific, more specific and then on the other half, I'll write down, like, if I actually did, like, 30 minutes on the treadmill or, you know, weightlifting on arms, focusing on arms, you know, things like that. So that was, that's my plan for the second part of the, um, the spread. So I don't know, like, are you guys, like, using the dashboard um, layout? How are you liking it? Um, I've heard a lot of talk about it, like in the planner community, like some people are like, yay, and they love it. And other people are like, oh, I don't know. I just can't get used to it. So I don't know. I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys think about it. And if you have like a YouTube channel that you guys, do you guys do like spreads or whatever? Uh, let me know what you think. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay down um, my top section where it's it's actually supposed to be for meal planning, which I still might use for. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to, for now, I'm going to be using it like um, sort of like what I did that day. Did I work out or, you know, I don't know. I'm still like confused on how I'm going to use it. I just went ahead and le left it as is. I might even cover it up later because I really don't know what I'm going to do with that little part of it. But then the... Um, the rest of it, I'm, like I said, I'm going to use it as tracker. And I wanted to use a lot of the little deco because, again, this is a leftover kit and I really want to utilize my stickers. I love them. They're so cute and it makes me happy when I'm planning throughout my week and I see all my, you know, pretty spread. It's 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 actually therapeutic. I just love, I love planning. Well, as you know, I've been doing it for years. 
But yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I didn't really lay down a lot of stickers other than a couple deco and um, boxes and a checklist or two. Do you guys like white space um, planning or do you like no white space planning? I'm, I've pretty much been a white space planner my whole um, planning career <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, I've, I like white space because I need, I need it to function. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So yeah, anyway, there you go. Let's pop this bad boy in and get a look at all its glory with its family. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Look at all the bunnies. Oh, it makes me happy. Easter. And then this is what I had left over, so for next year. <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy planning. Bye, everyone.